Right guys, welcome back for another video. Today's video is going to be how to breed your own mealworms. It saves you a fortune if you do have a lot of leopard geckos and a lot of mealworm eating reptiles. Let's get on with it. guys let's get straight into it this right here is my mealworm farm i'll run through the construction of it at the end of the video uh, so if you want to know that just hang around until the end but it consists of one big tub 32 litre tub and five little tubs let's start with the beetles so woo, beetles are in these little tubs i've got a couple of tubs these two are both beetles and if you have a look at the bottom of the tubs, first off, mesh lined. It's just all full of mesh. Big hole cut out the bottom, and we hot glued in some mesh in the bottom. And load of beetles in there. There's more in the other one, but that's that. So the story goes, they lay all their eggs in their substrate, which is just wheat. One pound a bag from Tesco's, just wheat. They lay their eggs in that substrate. They also use that substrate as food. Uh, so you don't want to put too thick of a layer in there. Otherwise, they'll just start eating their own eggs. Uh, when the eggs hatch, the little mealworms crawl down into this big tub. Now, we don't change this for a few weeks. We just wait until we start seeing the oats in the bottom of here moving. If we can see the oats moving, we know there's a load of live ones in there. We'll leave it two or three more days. Then we'll empty all of this out into just a normal little tub and let it raise up. Feed them, water them, do everything, just let them raise up. Now, we keep them in different sizes, obviously. On the side of the box, this one is the small mealworms. So this was the first batch that we've had. Well, thousands in there as you can tell we feed them on bits of carrot banana peel anything like that and they've got their oats obviously and we just raise them up until they get to the next size which are the normal feeder ones so the ones we feed off to all of our animals again absolutely thousands in there and we just keep feeding these off until they start to pupate into pupa, which is the medium, the middle uh, form of them. Which are basically, I don't know how well you can see all these, but yeah. Let me grab one. Anyway, they look like little aliens. I'll show you a close-up of that at the end. <coughs> as soon as we see one of these pupa in with the bigger mealworms, we'll remove it, stick them all in a pot together, just like that. And as and when they hatch into beetles, we then move them into the beetle pot. So we've always got a constant flow of fresh beetles, fresh eggs, and the cycle continues. So within mealworm breeding, there's three different air forms. So you've got your beetles, your pupa, and your mealworms. Your mealworms, they turn into the pupa as and when they're adulthood. Now, when they're in the pupa stage, they're still alive, but they just don't eat or drink. So we just leave them all together in a tub so they don't get eaten by anybody else, any other beetles, any other mealworms, anything like that. They're safe out on their own in there. As and when they hatch out to beetles, we then just grab it out, put it straight into one of these beetle tubs. About two weeks later, they become sexually mature, and that's when they start the breeding process. So let's just run through the setup and how I made this. If you have seen a few videos before, you'll notice this setup is totally different. This is just a setup that I thought of one day, figured I'd give it a try, and as you can tell, it's lucratively productive. But all we've got is your standard 32 litre tub, 
Now these bits of woods, I've hot glue glued, hot glued them onto the plastic edge. So when this starts moving around, we can start to see babies. We can just pour this straight into another small tub and then fill this up with a few more oats and carry the process on again. These bits of wood are just an old picture frame we had kicking around and they are spaced perfectly to fit the boxes on like that so that all your eggs and stuff all do fall through. These are known for um, grey mites, nothing too special, too amazing. My theory is if I keep the breeder tub open then the grey mites can get out and go away and disperse. If they're kept in a sealed unit they can they, they can reproduce a lot quicker so um, we just let them get away get out. Grey mites they're not really harmless to your animals or anything like that so we're not too bothered about that however we do check more often for mites just to be safe but we have two tubs again mesh on the bottom two tubs just dropped on we'll leave them a few weeks we feed everything that we have we feed with them um, carrot as a treat we'll whack banana skin in there or if we do have new fresh mealworms we'll whack a banana in because they're just higher in uh, potassium and there we go, higher in potassium and moisture you do not give them a drink because you start getting a lot of mold issues so um, they live off the moisture that's inside the fruit and vegetables that you give them there's the pupa And now that just, we have these two tubs just sat on the top there. And then this one just sat there. This all lives on top of our um, boa constrictors for varium, right over the bulb on the hot side. So there's heat running all the way through this just to help it out a little bit more. Things tend to work a bit quicker when there's a little bit more extra heat. And it's a constant temperature there. That heat ball is always at a constant temperature. So there's no temperature fluctuations or anything to uh, interfere with it. It doesn't get hotter and colder throughout the day and night. We just leave it like that. How I am soon to be, um, I'm going to try one of these tubs covered in black tape. See whether the darker side produces more than the lighter side. I like to run my own tests like that. But yeah, there we go guys. That is my mealworm breeding farm. It works for me. It's the only way I've tried. It's the only way I've thought of. If you have learnt anything, if you have enjoyed the video, just hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll stick some pictures up now of the mealworm in a few different forms. Thanks for watching.